Um, okay. Thank you. We, we couldn't do all this without, like Gideon was always saying, I listened to the voice of Gideon. Yes. He was always giving God glory uh, over all the accomplishment and what God was yet to use him to accomplish. So um, my wife and I and the five of us, um, my first son and two other um, apostles, we went on this glorious missions trip and My it was God. so powerful. Yes. Every day of that trip was just amazing. I mean, everything just went so smoothly. Even the, uh, the medical mission, we had hundreds of people just coming in. And some of them, my wife was involved, you see, see them on, um, you know, they were just, some of them have, uh, high blood pressure, low, they have just all kinds of, some of them are walking around with 300 uh, blood pressure, 300, 400, oh, oh. and they're still walking around, just walking, my God, my God. because they don't have the money to go to, to get medication. And we bought boxes upon boxes upon boxes upon boxes of medication. We had a lot of doctors there and nurses, and my wife was there, you know, Alex, uh, my first son, um, his first degree was on uh, um, sport medicine. So, you know, uh, so he's uh, working with my wife and mine, and other doctors are working, nurses are there. They will, they will diagnose them, doctors will prescribe, and then have several nurses sitting down, they will give you the medication free. They never see that before. Mm, okay. So, um, and then we, we went to um, the orphanage and gave them a lot of different things. And uh, then the anniversary, it was just too many people were everywhere, standing room all the people outside. Mm. And the consecration was just something. And I, you know, I owe God everything. And I, I owe, Thank you, Lord. I, I honor all of you. Thank you. Because, yeah. Christian, they will yeah. come together with you, and they will come with you. And yesterday, we were with Mr. Marian Robinson uh, for the funeral of the service of the, of the late husband. I was when we were eating breakfast this morning. I was telling Ron and and uh, Ola. Ola, I said, I love the energy of this woman of God when we visited her the day we arrived. Yes. And, and she is very positive. She just wants to move forward. We can bring him back. So I was saying, I said, you'll be surprised that she could walk into the service this morning. I was just, I was just, I was just telling them. And then it confirmed that it's here. And, uh, you know, and uh, so we pray for supernatural strength of me and your family. Yes. And uh, the mayor of Houston was there yesterday. And uh, at the end of the service, we were just lingering around the parking lot. We had a chance to have a handshake with him. I took a picture with him. And uh, he, so he also need our, our prayers uh, because of what he's currently going to. And hopefully, I can talk to Mr. William. Because God is giving me an anointing for healing. Uh, if you can step out and visit me, because you just never know who God can use. Yeah. Amen. Uh, when my wife had that diagnosis, I never knew she was going to still be here. And her case was so bad. We buy medication worth $2,000 every day. Wow. And she was being attended to three, doc three doctors who were attending to her. When I share that testimony, people look at me and it was just mere. It was so bad. And um, it was in a Friday service like this, and I called her out. And I said, God has told me to tell her you'll be healed. And that's all I said. We all prayed for her. We went home. Jesus. The rest, it's over, now, over 18 years now, 20 years. My God. I never consider any sickness as serious and God cannot cure. Yeah. That was just the, the fame of this ministry rose through healing. Mm -hmm. That's what God showed me. 
people like Glory. TV Jakes, all these people were coming and they were sick and God healed them through this meeting. Yeah. So you're going to just go put that in your mind that yeah. something is about to ignite. Yeah. Shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Uh, we're going to visit him and we're going to pray for him. Amen. I love uh, Sylvester Turner. Yeah. I don't want anything to happen to him. Yeah, He's not going to die, he will live. Yeah. Yeah. Shout hallelujah. That's what I speak to that I'm knowing that came from you from Nigeria. I, was, I spoke, I'm speaking that over him. Yes. Yes. That man of God will live. Yes. Yes. The mayor of Houston will live and not die. Yes. Yes. Shout hallelujah. hallelujah. So we're going to go visit him and I'm going to release that upon him. Let us all stand on our feet under this fire that has sent in this song. Hey, open your mouth and talk to God. Hey, come on, come on, come on. Everything you need now. Is in this house. Open your mouth, open your mouth, open your mouth. Nako Saka, take it in. Every sick person, honor the devil is a liar. You spirit of infirmity. Yes, 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 yes. Come on, come on. Every sick person in this house. Every, every death threat. Come on, come on, come on, come on. We release healing. I command you now. Come out of this place. Come out of this temple. And be healed by the power of the Holy Ghost. In the name. At this time, put your hands together as we welcome my spiritual daughter, a woman of God, called and anointed and appointed. Apostle Judy Bear. Jesus. 
called his name and said, come on up. Yeah. There are others I need to bring up, but not until you. My humble servant yeah. Yeah. moves out yeah. ahead of me. Yeah. I thank God for you. Yeah. I thank God for him saving me, connecting me. Thank the Lord. I love you, Pastor Fred. Thank you. Minister Pearl. Yeah. 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 But I thank God for my bishop. <laughs> Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. You know, God knows what he's doing. Yeah. Right. He who has an ear, let him hear. Yeah. Now, everybody don't hear. Right. You know, sometimes we get frustrated with oh, people. Yes. But guess what? They ain't been marked. They're not sealed. Yeah. They're yeah. not in Christ. Well, uh -huh. You know what God is showing to me? Mm. Just You just keep praying for them. Yeah. Yeah. You keep loving them. Yes. You keep showing them me. Yes. Do you love somebody enough to spend your time yes. going before the Father on Thank their you. behalf? Thank That's you. what they do. Thank you. Thank you. I know without certainty that they're praying for me and my family. Because yes. I wouldn't be standing up here today. Amen. I have a procedure coming up this next Friday. Pray for me. Yeah. yeah. Thank you, Lord. I'm going to need some of you, maybe. Yes. Because yeah. they told me that they need me to just be still yeah. for a minute. Uh -huh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah. Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. Yeah. This morning, I want to share with you, Pastor was releasing about uh, all timing has a significance about the month of October. And so I just heard him. I heard what he was saying. Amen. Amen. And so I did what I always do. I pulled out my phone and uh, asked the internet, the World Wide Web. And this is what it says. This October, the first biblical event marks the date the Ark of Noah came to rest. Mm -hmm after the flood. Mm. Mm. He obeyed God <laughs> and his family was saved. Amen. Jesus. Yes, Lord. Mm -hmm. The last event this month is when King Jehoram disobeyed God. Tell your neighbor, that's not me. That's not me. I'm with the first school. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And celebrated the Feast of Tabernacles one month later than God had commanded. Yeah. Timing is so important. Thank God for men and women of God who could wait until God said, yeah. come on up here. Amen. Yeah. He celebrated it, everybody said, when he wanted to. Mm -hmm. yeah. Jesus. I tell you, that spirit of what I got to do and want to do is out of here. In, Jesus, man. in the name of Jesus. Amen. I want to share with you real briefly. It's 1130. Mm. Hallelujah. <laughs> About the function and the role of the Holy Spirit yeah. in our lives. Thank you, Jesus. Yeah, God knew what he was doing. Thank you. He sent Jesus here to show us the way. But Jesus said, I, I got to go. I got to get on up out of here. So another can come. Ah, oh, Jesus. Who's going to <laughs> help you walk what I've told you to do? Everybody say, I got help. I got help in the Lord. In the Lord. Jesus. Mm -hmm. God said, that he wasn't going to always keep striving with men in Genesis. He said, you know, you all are, are, are flesh. Mm. And he declared over there we should live 120 years. My God, my God. Raise your hand if you're going to make it. Jesus, Jesus, that would be me. Jesus. 
And I want to do it on the battlefield of the Lord. Yes. That, that's why I got to receive my healing. Amen. Because uh, God can't use you if you had, the way he wants to. God has been showing me, uh, Jesus, help me, Lord, how just getting out and greeting and praying for his people, yes. allowing myself to be a vessel for him. Uh, those letters that we couldn't put up. I went to the man of God and asked him, could he come? I said, but come when you are already scheduled to come to Houston so you don't have to charge us full rate. Amen? Right. Amen. Right. Right. Amen. <laughs> he said, I'll do that, sister. And there was another gentleman in his yard, and he called him. He said, come here. Come here. You got to meet this woman of God. He said, you know, you prayed for my business to increase when I was here. He said, I got to tell you this. Amen. It's just going up. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The young man that came over to me, God told me to pray for him and give him a word for his barren wife to have a child. Because that's what he said he wanted. And that's what they believed in God. When the man that I went to see, he stepped away. He told me that he never wanted me to pay. Oh, wow. When I told him the sign needed to say the place where miracles happen, it hit his belly. Mm -hmm. A saint of the most high God. Mm -hmm. I didn't leave there with that connotation, but he has not returned my call for me to pay him. I didn't been to his house two or three times because I, I don't want to hold him. Mm -hmm. I don't want to be uh, uh Anything that would reflect God that he doesn't do what he say he would do. <laughs> and so I told the young man as I finished praying for him, I said, you got this cash out? He said, I do. I said, I've been trying to get it from him. He won't, he won't give it. He said, he, he looked at his phone and he told me who he was. And so I tried to make it work on my phone. He tried to make it work on my phone. It wouldn't work. Mm -hmm. The young man took his phone. And he paid the bill for American Christian fellowship. Oh, y'all don't hear me. Yes. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. How many of you have gotten your invitation for my birthday celebration? Nobody? Well, oh, I gotta talk to my people, my children, Jesus, because all of y'all name on them is some of you. I need to get your number. I got yours while they were in Africa. Because what was in my heart was, uh, I wasn't gonna ask the city for Main Street, but definitely this one out here, to welcome our bishop home. And I was calling to get your permission to ask you what did God, what was God saying? All those people that come here all the time, I wanted us to form a line out there. I'm just telling y'all what I heard the Holy Ghost say. You know, we can do that for him because that ain't what he after. Yes, Lord. He told us this morning, I'm on a mission. God's people be healed. Yeah. I spoke a word to Minister Marion at the that wasn't a Chinese restaurant. What kind? Japanese? Yeah. <laughs> that we went to eat at. And I told her, I said, you know what? I've been praying so hard for Mayor Turner to come to the service. And my prayer was that he could be healed. Amen. Jesus. Everybody say, wake up. At an appointed time. Yes. 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 He connected with it. Yes. Did y'all hear what he said? Yes. I said, yes, we wanted to honor him because he is distinguished, but God wants to heal him. Amen. 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 Jesus. Amen. Jesus. Jesus. The Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit. Let me see. Ten, ten minutes out of five. I'm on a mission. I heard what you said, Pastor. You know, as life changed with me, I don't have my computer up at home, and that's how I have all these years done prepared for my preaching. And so I've had to change what I do 
and I started going to my phone. But the bishop told us about a, a month ago, I, I want y'all to stop fooling with the phones and green go. Oh, <laughs> hey, did y'all hear that? Yeah. Yeah. Amen. I heard it. I said, Lord, you can have to help me. Because I got a brand new Bible. You know how in your Bible you didn't had it a while and you know how to just get over here real quick. When it's brand new, oh my God, you, all the pages stuck together. Do <laughs> that. Where, where is John? Where is he? Jesus. 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 My God. Jesus. The Holy Spirit, turn with me, if you will, to John, the third chapter, and the fifth verse. I am going to be reading from the Amplified Bible. I'm an Amplified Saint, so I love the Amplified Bible. Jesus, at John, verses, chapter 3, verse 5, Jesus is speaking. Well, actually, he isn't. Hmm. He had just finished speaking, amen? Well, no, he is. Just in the amp. I'm going to have to talk to him. They didn't put that in red, amen? <laughs> Verse 5 of chapter 3. I assure you and most solemnly say to you, unless one is born of water and the Spirit, he cannot Enter the kingdom. Yeah. Let me say that again. Unless <laughs> you have been born mm, 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 of water and the spirit. You cannot, everybody say, ever enter the kingdom of God. That's why we've got to work the work of him that has sent us while it is day. Because when night comes, yes, yes. No man, no man. it's a done deal. I know some groups believe that they can, you go to purgatory and they can pray you in and pray you out. That's not what he has told us. So we got to do it now. Let the prayer be done now. Yes. Jesus, oh God, help us this morning to hear what your spirit is saying to the church. Let's turn over to John 14, chapter 14, and we're going to look at verses. 16 and 17, Dr. Mendez. I caught just the end of you, but it was good. Hallelujah. Let's encourage him with a hand clap of thanksgiving for the word of faith that he released in this house this morning. Jesus. John 14, verses 16 and 17, talking about the role of the Spirit of God in our lives. I will ask the Father. And he will give you another helper, another comforter. I've been sending and bombarding the heavenly with comfort, Minister Mary and Father. Comfort her. Jesus. Strengthen her, Lord. And let an abundance of love flow to her from us, from us. He will give you another advocate, uh, one that will go and fight the battle for you. He will give you, yeah, the Father's will, oh, Jesus, give you an intercessor. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's why we have to pray in the Holy Spirit because we don't know what to pray. Sometimes all you can do is say Jesus. Yeah. It's all you can do. Yeah. But you have to tell you what the Spirit knows. Yeah. 
but he's going to use you to do the moans and the groans yes. and to lay before him and seek his face. Jesus, he will give you another strengthener, a standby, a standby. Yeah. Someone who will prop you up when you look like you about to go down for the man. Jesus. And guess what, saints? He will be with us forever. Amen. He will never leave us, nor forsake us, nor relax his hold on us or let us go. He will not, he will not, assuredly not. Oh, you got to know that and know it. That's why Minister Marion can stay. Because she know it. Even though she's on heart. She just went into another dimension. Yes. Jesus. Mm. The spirit of truth. Mm -hmm. Whom the world cannot receive. So that's why I don't understand when we say don't go to the Beyonce concert because it's a lot of unclean spirits over there. They, they, they can't understand that. But you know what? We can't be upset and offended by that. It's just time to pray more. She wasn't around when I went to the concert. But Blue Thor had the temptations for me. <laughs> and we started early. You know, we took out my baby girl to the ja Michael Jackson. She's still in love with him. She figured. And he gone. And she's still. <laughs> Talking about Michael Jackson. My husband had to sit her up on his shoulder the whole night. Now, if we want to put that in him, we got to spit the spirit of truth. Amen. That's right. Cultivate that spirit. Amen. You know, Dr. Solomon, our bishop, that was a good word not long ago. He said, what's happening in the body of Christ is that there's no repenting. Yeah. If you're going to stand in truth, you first got to acknowledge what the truth is. Right there. Right there. God can straighten it all. Yes, he can. Because when you come to him, you've got to come to him in who he is. He's the spirit of truth. That's why we have so many of us walking in defeat because we live with a lie and we will not go to God and we show sure not going to no people. God, will you forgive me? I missed it. Every day. Mm. The world doesn't know him because it does not see him. How many of you see him this morning? I'm talking about the Holy Ghost. Uh-huh. Nor know him. But guess what? You know it. I know it. Because the Holy Spirit remains with us continually. We just read that over earlier in John. And he is going to be with us. Verse 18 says, I will not leave you as an orphan, comfortless, bereaved, and helpless. I will come back to you. Jesus. Mm. I'm talking about if he just took a little break from me, although he is omnipresent, omnipotent, and he can take care of me and you. Yeah. you. He says, I'm, if it looked like it to you, I want you to know I'm going to come back to you. Amen. Stand on my word. Amen. John 14, verse 26. Help, you, help us, oh God. Thank you, Lord. When the Holy Comforter, the Advocate, telling us again who he is, uh -huh. the Counselor, the Strengthener, comes, oh God, 
he will mm, stand with you. That is the spirit of truth who comes from the Father. He will testify and bear witness of Jesus. Jesus. Mm. 15, that was John 15 and 26. Let's look at John 16 and 13. Will somebody read that for me? John chapter 16 and the third, 13th, I'm sorry, 13th verse. John 16, 13, and 14. Somebody read, please. Stay with me. But when he, the Holy, but when he, the Spirit of truth, come, mm. he will guide you into all truth. Mm. He will not speak on his own. Jesus. He will speak only what he hears. Mm. And will tell you what is yet to come. Mm. Mm. Yes, read the through 14. 14 says, He will glorify, He will glorify me because it is from me that He will receive what He will make known to you. He's going to glorify Jesus. He's going to give honor to Him. He will take what is Jesus's and will disclose it to you. He's not going to speak of himself. He's going to come talking about everybody say, our Savior, <laughs> our healer, yeah. Jesus, making it clear. He just has given him the Holy Ghost, mm -hmm. a fresh rain of word that he has to go to work laying hands on people in the parking lot at the grocery store. Amen. You know, you probably don't go to the grocery store. <laughs> <laughs> Wherever you are. Mm -hmm. Louis, Aha. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> we cannot let other people make us ashamed of the gospel Amen. of Jesus Christ Amen. because Amen. it is the power Amen. of salvation. Amen. They looking at you anyway. Amen. Well, let them look and get hit. Amen. Let them get saved. Delivered. Yeah, let them get delivered. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You just don't touch. Yes. Thank you, Lord. I'm talking about when we stay in the presence of yeah. God yeah. and allow Him. I'm talking about praying when we don't want to pray. I'm talking uh -huh. about fasting. I never see people fast. Like they fast. Yeah. Amen. You know, I kind of laugh and like to have a lot of fun. I asked Pastor Megan one day, I said, do you have to fast all the time when you fast? <laughs> 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 Jesus. Do I know what he's doing? <laughs> this man of God, I text him. He stayed up kind of late. And I know he was tired because he just so journeyed back to America. But I text him and say, he's still up, call me. He said he saw my text at three when he got up to. I hope he was praying that I'd be praying at three. <laughs> Y'all don't hear me. Jesus. Yeah, he, he, he's going to glorify talking about the spirit of the living God. Jesus. Jesus. First John, still in the 16th chapter, let's uh, back up just a little bit and look at verse 8. Talking about the truth again. Jesus. Somebody who got their healing today, stand and read this scripture for me. John 16 and 8. Jesus. When he comes, yes, he will convict mm. the world of guilt mm. in regard to sin and righteousness and judgment. Jesus. He's going to correct. He's going to chasten Amen. 
He's, he's going to judge. He is. I can't judge, but, well, I can't at the church, but, because, you know, we always say judge, you know what I mean? Ye shall be judged. And the word does say that. But in the body of Christ, Jesus, you have the right to tell me, woman of God, let me say what my brothers and my children stay to me, stay in apostle mode. <laughs> that's, that's what they tell me. In other words, we know you. And we know you're a praying woman, but sometimes you got to catch yourself. Stay, yeah. just, you stay right there in the, as a servant. Yes, yes, yes. Oh. <laughs> 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 the bishop. Don't go off. <laughs> Why are you going to read me in front of everybody? <laughs> don't, don't do it. Don't do it. Jesus. Turn with me, if you will, to Acts 9 and 31. Hallelujah. If I keep going at the rate I'm going, I'm going to be through. God going to get the glory today. Amen. Jesus. 9 and 31. Jesus. Mm. You know, I received that word about me having my Bible. And I do look up a lot of spiritual stuff on it, but it's a bunch of other stuff that's designed to have you receive something in your eye gate, something in your ear gate, something in your mouth gate. We gotta be aware of his devices, saint. Jesus, the Bible says in the ninth chapter of the book of Acts and the 31st verse. Thank you, Father. Jesus. Mm -hmm. I can handle this Bible. Hallelujah. Thank you, God. Jesus. <laughs> so the church throughout Judea, Galilee, Galilee and Samaria enjoy peace uh -huh, without persecution, being built up in wisdom, in virtue, talking about being built up in power. Hallelujah. We're talking about when the Holy Ghost comes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Built up in faith and walking in the fear of the Lord and in the comfort and in an encouragement of the Holy Spirit, it continued to grow. So when we're talking about numbers this morning, we gotta have, everybody say, more fear, more wisdom, more virtue, Jesus, mm. more wisdom. Thank God for a leadership that will lead you into the wisdom of God. Jesus. Mm. So that we can continue to grow. You know, when we stay in the Holy Ghost mode, we're going to win more of our family members Amen. to God and bring them to the house of God. Everybody is tired of flesh. Yeah. The Bible says that the whole earth is moaning and groaning and waiting for a manifestation of the sons of God. Another word could be children of God. Just waiting for somebody who looked like Christ, who act like Christ, because they in him, because of what he's done. Oh God, oh God, oh God. Jesus. Hallelujah. Jesus. Acts, turn over to the 13th chapter. Pastor Fred, would you read this for us? Acts 13 and the second verse. Talking about how the Spirit of the living God functions in us as a church and as individual believers. Amen? Amen. Acts 13 and verse 2. 
hash picture box two. I wait. Call again. Picture box two. Mm-hmm. Goes like this. One day. Call again. And this man will worship in the Lord and fast. Yes, 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 yes. The Holy Spirit said, Upon Barnabas and Saul, <laughs> for the special work to which I have called them. So after fasting and praying, the uh -huh. men laid their hands on them and sent them on their way. Jesus. Verse 2 and verse 3. Jesus, verse 4 say, So then, then sing out by the Holy Spirit. They went down to California. They went down to Arkansas. Mm -hmm. They went back over. They <laughs> right, Judy. Nigeria. I'm sick with that. <laughs> they went back. There was some fasting and some praying going on. And while that happened, in the midst of it, the Lord says, separate for me, Solomon. Oh, see me, Is that close? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I got to practice this some more, Sister May. I call her up and just be saying, I need somebody over here who really got, got his last name correct. <laughs> I did. I, I love Carol and Satan. I love, come on up, come on up. Yeah, because this is our bishop. Come on, get the mic. Hallelujah. Now, we first to go to school. <laughs> it's okay to say Dr. Solomon. That's okay. But that's not how we do things. Not really. Take it slow with us. The last name, Aharame. Aharame. A K H A R A M E N Akarame. So Bishop Solomon Akarame. Not Akame. Akarame. Come in if you got that. Stand just a Come on here. Akarame. That's good. Did you hear that? You got an A minus. <laughs> I don't think I'm going to go for it right now. But we got to learn it. God is about to bring people here from all over the world. Amen. Amen. And if you're doing the prayer or blessing the food, and you're talking about our bishop, and you say whatever he said, we say it. I say those people are unlearned. I can do it. I'm gonna go practice it though. Can you do it? You've been practicing. You're good. Yeah, good. I'm Kissing the ring. Right. 
But I'm just talking about how our flesh yes. wants to be glorified and exhausted. Yes. Exhausted. 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 Dead. exhausted. Yeah, that word. <laughs> I ain't gonna tell you why I'm having trouble this morning, but I got the victory because the Holy Ghost is with me. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Jesus, Lord. Amen. Separate them. I've got some work. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Jesus. Mm. So, the bishops, the archbishops, the cardinals in Africa, the Pope laid hands on our pastor. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you, Lord. And now he's he's in position to lay hands on us for what? Service! Yeah, that's right. Keep serving! Yeah. I don't care what level you go to, there is a work for yeah. you to do. Yeah. Yeah. And it ain't the work. Thank God for television. Thank God for talk shows. Thank God for all of that. But people need us. Yeah. To do what God has sent us here to earth to do. Amen. And he's given us a good example in our leadership. Amen. Oh, Jesus. Do I go? I'm going to just tell you that he, the Holy Spirit is the author of our new birth. Amen. Yes, and that's in Romans 8, 14, and 16. I hope that's not the passage that I, let me look at it real quick. Because there's one passage that I have that says he's here and will teach you all things if you let him. We have a part in it. Amen. 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 And so many times, well, you know what? That's going to take me. Oh, Jesus. Boom. To my last scripture. I had some more for you. He justifies us. In 2 Corinthians 6, but we're going to back up from there. And, uh, you know, we're going to keep moving. Ephesians 4 is going to be my closing scripture. Amen. Thank you, Father. Um, 4 and 30. Ephesians 4, chapter 30. Hallelujah. The Holy Spirit gave me that scripture while I was sitting here. Hallelujah. Mm. Jesus. Mm. Mm -hmm. Jesus. I'm in Ephesians 6. I'm going to go to 11. But I just want to say this to us this morning. 6 and 11. And when you read teens talking about thieves and greedy people and drunkards and revelers, and he said, some of us used to be that <laughs> before the Spirit of God came. And it tells us that that group would never again enter into the kingdom. You know, some people say hell ain't real. But it is. Because when you can enter into the kingdom that God has prepared for us, you are living in hell. Amen. Jesus. 6 and 11 says, Some of you were before, but you've been washed by the atoning sacrifice of Christ. You were sanctified. Everybody say, I'm set apart for God. And made So it ain't nothing you can do. It's the gift yeah. of God, but line up mm. and be a vessel ready to be used for him. Free from guilt in the name of our Lord Jesus the Christ and in the Holy Spirit of God. The source of believers new life. Everybody say, and changed behavior. Change behavior. Mm, mm, mm. Go back to Ephesians 4. Not that. Help me, Lord. I don't, don't want to show y'all how new my Bible is. Oh, thank you, Lord. 
He went right over there. <laughs> Ephesians 4, Jesus in the last verse. Ah, oh, Jesus. 29. Let no corrupt communication proceed out of your mouth. But that which is good to the use of edifying, that it may minister grace unto the hearers. Yes. Verse 30. Let all bitterness and wrath and anger and clamor and evil speaking be put away from you with all malice. Mm -hmm. And be kind to one another. Mm -hmm. Jesus. Tender hearted, compassionate, understanding, forgiving one another, readily and freely, just as Christ has forgiven us. It's 32, but 30 tells us what happens when we. Don't put on that new creation. Don't breathe. When Judy Bell acts like the old Judy, she is grieving. Mm -hmm. The Holy Spirit. Mm. Seek to please him. By whom you were sealed. He put his seal on us. It's a mark that we are in Christ and that he is leading us and guiding us. We can't allow our flesh and our soul. If you didn't get the message on his soul, mm -hmm. go find it. Yeah. Let your own will, your own emotions mm -hmm. take you out. Everybody say, that's grieving. It ain't because you killed somebody. You know, we do give people with our words, Amen. with our thoughts, Amen. with our actions. Amen. The spirit of the living God says this morning, do not breathe his spirit anymore. Amen. Come on and give the Lord a hand clap. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Give him praise. Hallelujah. Thank him for the new heart that you got. Thank him for the ceiling that his spirit has put Amen. upon you, that you are a part of the body of Christ a part of the kingdom. You are a believer. You are a part of the church. You know, sometimes we like to skip the church. The Holy Ghost came and did a great work specifically for God's church. Stand to your feet. And let's prepare to receive our bishop. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord God. It's so good to see each of you here today. We got baby girl with us. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Let's encourage the bishop. Our bishop. As we come. Amen. Come on, put your hand together for Jesus Christ. Come on, come on, come on, come on. And let's put our hand together for our pastor, Judy Bell. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Amen. You may be seated in the presence of the Lord. Hallelujah. Great word, great word, great word. Uh, let's go ahead and take our tithes and offering. Then after that, we'll serve the Holy Communion. Uh, it's already prepared. And so, hallelujah, hallelujah. Please, please remember all the people who are uh, sick at home, who are usually here. Um, thank you, Lord. 